You know, I grew up on the east side of San Jose. We just figured out ways to get by. $150 a fight, $300 a fight, $500 a fight. You know, I had to do something for money, and that was the opportunity that was given to me. And it all started from there. That's why, that's why when people talk about our relationship with Scott, he said, I wouldn't be where I am today without him, given the fact that, like, you know, he invested time into me, he invested into me. This is in 2005. So I said, well, Josh is the kind of guy that could help build this company. He understands, look, you're going to have opportunities, and sometimes you're not going to have opportunities. This is just how the business works. From the beginning, when he was doing strike force kickboxing and MMA, he made sure that I had an opportunity to make money somewhere else, whether that was in Pride, whether that was anywhere else that he could find me fights. There's a relationship there that, you know, that you'll never get with any other promoter. Uh, okay, so here's my thing of Josh. I think he has. He has a pretty big slice in his driver. <laughs> we played a little bit, a little bit together when, when you had Strike Force, right? Yeah. As soon as Strike Force was gone, it was like three times a week. <laughs> we, were, we were traveling. This was my life uh, for after I sold Strike Force. Yeah, this is the best. He's like, hey, he would just call me around. Hey, you want to play today? <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm actually gonna work out. He's like, nah, nah, you can train after. <laughs> this is family time. This isn't, you know, Josh the fighter and me the promoters. You know, you bonded with these guys, and Josh has been one of the four pillars of building a May in San Jose. At the age that he's at now, at the level that he's at, at what point has he accomplished enough, and is he going to transition into whatever the next phase of his life is? Tristan, Jojo, you're going to be with uh, Maddie. You two with Maddie. So I slide my toes in, right? All the way in. Now I'm over his back. Now he's carrying all my weight. Everyone got it? Yes, coach. Can't hear you. Yes, coach. All right, guys, four minutes. Okay, go. We basically have a motto at my gym. It's just create your own journey, no matter what it is. Create your own journey, whether it's jujitsu, from white belt to black belt. It's like that thing on their shoulders, man, to watch these kids stand up and they go, <laughs> and they actually look at you as their coach. Did you see that? Like, they get that look on their face, like, coach, did you see that? Even at 37, 38 years old now, I still do it. After I land a good combination, I got a takedown on someone I wasn't supposed to get a takedown on. I look at Javier, did you see that? He's been fighting for about 18 years. He started with, with Scott Coker and him finishing with Scott Coker. I mean, here he is, you know, right back circle where he started, where he always wanted to be. I see all the champions that are in, in the UFC and they're all from Strike Force. That's all, those are all people that Scott put time and effort into, you know, for them to build their dream and look what happened. They became who they are today because Scott invested in them. You know, it's unfortunate that, you know, they went over with the, the Strike Force buyout, but they all have a good understanding that Scott had done good things for them. The difference is I don't forget things like that. That's the difference. I'm looking at more of like when it's my time to go and leave the sport, it's based off of like when I can't fight the best guys anymore. And people want to talk about all the hard times and stuff they went through, but let's be real. Like I know exactly where I came from. I know exactly what I've been through. I know all the crap that I've done to get to where I am. And I'm still standing here with a smile on my face and so happy that I have achieved everything that I've ever wanted.